Expo 2020 is here and it looks great. Um, I got the early chance to, to go and visit and I strongly re recommend that you do. It's very well organized. Um, the focus on the sustainability pavilion and um, they have artwork all the way through um, and it's clean. It's a, it's a new part of the city that they just built, right? And it's open only for a short period of time until April as a sneak peek. Um, I visited there with my family uh, uh, and kids and uh, we went with uh, another family and kids as well. Everybody had a great time. So I'd strongly recommend if you have youngsters in the family that you go and visit. Post-Expo, it's going to be um, a science uh, museum approach, but you do need to book in advance. Uh, uh, so if you uh, visit the website and you book in advance to make sure that you're able to, uh, to make it there. And also in 2013, that was when uh, uh, Dubai received the award of Expo 2020 and, and it was competing with other global cities. So at the time, um, I studied the Twitter discussion. So keep in mind, this is 2013. This was long before uh, 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 TikTok and Instagram, Snapchat, before they popped. So Twitter had the real sentiment of, uh, of people and, and who's saying what and so on. You get to see in the week leading up to the announcement, you get to see this immense spike. And then if you zoom into that immense spike on the day of the announcement, if you look at it per hour, you get to see how within the hour or an hour and a half leading up to it, where you have also this immense spike where the excitement builds up and then there's the, the congratulations and so on. I strongly recommend that you go book and visit. From the UAE to the world, Terra, the Sustainability Pavilion. Book your tickets now on Expo2020Dubai.com. Expo 2020 Pavilion's premiere from January 22nd to April 10th, 2021. If COVID hasn't killed cash on delivery, then nothing will. We've all seen this Hollywood movie where you have um, a character or a monster or whatever it is that won't die. You, you try to kill them in eight or nine different times and they don't die. Uh, this is the status of cash and delivery. Uh, um, Noon.com mentioned that um, during COVID, cash and delivery has been slashed in half, which is great. But when I saw that, I thought that if COVID hasn't killed cash and delivery, nothing will. Any retailer will tell you how difficult cash on delivery is to their business in terms of collecting the cash, logging the cash in the books, tying it to the actual execution, the returns, it's, a, it's, it's operation complexity, especially if the retailer wants to scale and grow. I guess we're going to be stuck with cash and delivery for the next 10, 12 years as it slowly goes down to less than 5%, but it's going to take us so, so long until that time. Just die already. The Facebook family is a huge part of the internet. So we're looking at Facebook, the blue app, we're looking at Instagram and WhatsApp. So there was Safer Internet Day uh, a couple of weeks ago and Facebook came up with a long list, shared a long list of recommendations. From that long list, there's one thing you do and I recommend you do it now, is to do uh, enable two-factor authentication on, uh, on your apps. So simply what that means is you add your mobile, uh, your mobile number to the phone to the phone app. This way, in case something comes up, you lose access to your account, somebody takes it over, simply there's a code that goes there. That's an immense step towards what it is. If you want to go ahead and do it now, yeah, go ahead and do it now because it's very simple to do on Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp. You can also widen that to include email or, or anything else. I have many cases where uh, I get a call every now and then saying, hey man, you understand this internet stuff. I have a friend who lost access to her Instagram account or this guy lost access to his Facebook and so on. It's always the same situation where there's something inappropriate happening. And at the end, if you have your mobile number connected to your Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp or email, it, it puts you in a much, much better position to secure and restore your account. On Facebook, go to settings and privacy, then settings, then security and login, then two-factor authentication, and click use two-factor authentication. On Instagram, go to settings, then security, then click on two-factor authentication. On WhatsApp, go to your settings, then click on account, two-step verification, and click enable. <laughs> 